Okay, let's talk about preparing for NPSP and Salesforce releases. So, the most important things that you need to know that updates happens automatically both for NPSP and Salesforce. So, NPSP pushes updates every two weeks. Remember that. Oh, here. Updates to NPSP are pushed to your production automatically every two weeks. What about Salesforce? Salesforce updates the whole platform that you are using once every quarter. So, three times a year. Three times a year. So, we are focusing on NPSP right now. What? are being updated components of an NPSP release when an NPSP release is posted it's generally consists of three components the critical changes the changes and the issues that's closed that bugs and fixes that has been fixed the additional installation instruction section includes the following the push schedule latest released installation URL, the trial force template ID. Okay, so here are the recommendations of the things you need to do. But to be honest, when you are the only one in charge and you have so many things going on, going through this list every two weeks, it's kind of, you know, eh, not likely from my personal experience. So, but if you do have the time, go through this list, like review the release notes in detail. Do you have time for that? Use a sandbox to test the new features before enabling them in production or new features for sure. Because you need to know what are the new features, right? If you don't go through the release notes, you don't even know there is a new feature going on in your NPSP that's already been implemented at and ready for use. Bring in key users to help understand how the organization can take advantage of new features. You know, this, this all list is for an ideal situation where everything is just, you know, perfect. But in a real life scenario, it's very unlikely for you to go through this, especially bringing in other people to discuss new features. While you have a lot of existing daily tasks to do every single day, you know, doing support for the staff, implementing reports, you know, new processes, everything is moving every single day. But this is the ideal, okay? Evaluate whether any features conflict with customizations. Usually, from my personal experience, I fix stuff, conflicts, when it happens because I simply do not have the time. So say a bunch of stuff is being rolled into production and then a couple of days later, hey, Jimmy, what happens? This doesn't work anymore. Oh, then I fix and address the, the issue. Because it is not possible when you are the only one in charge and then, you know, you have to prepare everything and then you have to do a hundred other stuff at the same time every single day. No, that's not possible. So you just wait until something breaks, then you can fix it. Unless your only job is to make everything run smoothly and you don't have any other tasks. But you... The one who's viewing this video, you you are a non-profit staff, right? And they don't have a bunch of people going around the organization usually. Why? Because it's a non-profit, right? And you are a unique person. Because you want to support a cause. It's a non-profit organization and you're there helping the whole organization to support the cause. Why? Because the cause sinks with your heart, with your calling. So, yeah, you're a good person. You will be equipped to have 
everything you need to get the work done. Evaluate whether any features necessi necessitate an update to the security model. Develop a communication and training plan as needed for staff to learn about new features. So that's, that's the recommended checklist. After an NPSP release, you will also see an update in the latest release note. And you can also see this in GitHub, in the NPSP GitHub. You know, let's check NPSP so you know GitHub. That is uh, here is the GitHub. And that does release note there. If I go actually back here, here's release notes here. So changes, issue close, new stuff, push schedule. So just Google NPSP GitHub and you will see the path there. Okay, Salesforce also have their own releases and that's about it. So yeah, let's do the quiz. When are NPSP updates pushed every two weeks? Automatically every two weeks. True or false? Features in Salesforce seasonal release are never auto-enabled for users. That is false. They do auto-enable. All right. I'll see you in the next section, which is, I think, the last part of this whole trail, which is awesome. Bada bing, bada boom. Oops, get the point first hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom